Welcome to the Evelyn and Luna channel. Welcome to February's vlog. I did way too many orders this month and so many exciting things have come out recently. But first, let's check out the Luminaires Festival that I went to last week. My city always has a ton of festivals and I try to go to as many as I can every year. It was so cold and snowing, so we didn't stay long. I wish we had a chance to go figure skating or ride the Ferris wheel, but we were freezing and I don't even think we were there for very long. walking to my local blind box store though no matter what weather and there was a lot of new things at the store the first thing i noticed was they had the year of the rabbit series from pop mart i was so happy it arrived and there was also a new sanrio and miniso collab and they also had the super cute new series of momo bunny and planet bear i've never seen planet bear available in canada yet so it was really cool to see in person and there was also the super cute Nancy poetry series which had just arrived even though it's been out for a few months it was still really fun to see it for the first time in store and the packaging is so beautiful for them it's also a grocery store so we had a look at the snacks and we noticed they had new water drinks with the king of fighters and 98 characters on it 
There's a total of four in this series of drinks, but there was only four at the store. We picked up all of them. I think I might do a taste test of them because I've never tried this brand of flavored water and they can either be really good or terrible, so I might have that on my channel. For blind boxes though, I decided to only pick up the Momo Rabbit because I've spent a lot already this month, but I haven't seen this available anywhere else and I wanted it for an upcoming video. But I think I probably should have picked up the Year of the Rabbit from Hotmart to try and see if I could get the Skull Panda. I don't have very good luck when I buy things in store though, so sometimes I prefer to buy online. I think maybe when I go back in March, I'll try and pick up a Year of the Rabbit series. Afterwards, we decided to go eat at a new ramen restaurant called Neo Tokyo. I think it might look really cool in the footage, but I wasn't a big fan of it. The ramen was just okay, but it just didn't have a very good vibe to it. It was definitely filled with a lot of yuppies, but I can appreciate them trying to make it look like cyberpunk. We have a lot of better places to get ramen here though, so I probably won't come back to this place. And here's also a clip of the two things that I picked up in person. We have our Momo Bunny blind box that I picked up from the store and also this really beautiful lip gloss from the Chinese brand Cute Rumor. I've never heard of them before but the really cool thing about this lip gloss is it comes with a character on the top and you can actually detach it and put on whatever figure you want on your lip gloss or your lipstick if you have a lot from this brand, which is pretty cool. I actually picked this up earlier in the month from my trip to the TNT supermarket that just opened here. I don't know if you're familiar with TNT supermarket, but when I lived in Vancouver, it was my favorite grocery store to go to, but it basically carries a bunch of different products from a lot of different Asian countries. So I've really been missing it because we don't have one here, but this one just opened up. So we did a little trip to it, even though it's pretty far away from where I live. Maybe in the future, I'll film a mini vlog clip there so you can see what I'm talking about, but they have a really good beauty and skincare section where you can pick up a lot of like Korean beauty. So this lip gloss was really cool. I was very happy to find it, but let's go ahead and get into what I picked up this month. I forgot to film a video clip of me unboxing my Ami Ami order, but I'll put up on the screen what I got. I picked up a brand new Miko Ninjoid that just came out in January, and I actually ended up picking up an older Ninjoid that was pre-owned of Cardcaptor Sakura. I believe this one was released in 2021, and I'll definitely have those in future videos. But let's go ahead and have a look at my online orders, which I did film. So to start, I did a little order on AliExpress to get the All-Star Finding Unicorn series. And of course I know what's inside all three of these. So in this video, I think I'm going to open up our two Finding Unicorn ones to show you who I got from there. And I also picked up a Winnie Misty Land series from Hey Dolls and Dark Light. I've never opened this series up before, so I'm really excited. I think I'm going to be doing a whole gothic themed style blind box video, so I bought this for that. And the next haul I have is from the Finding Unicorn website. They had a sale for Valentine's Day, so I went ahead and made use of it and picked up a lot of cute items. So the first thing you'll see is I did end up getting a bunch of Finding Unicorn display boxes. And these are only available on the website right now with free shipping. You can get these on their AliExpress store, but at least for Canada, you have to pay shipping and it's really expensive. So I bought a ton of these. I kind of forget how many I got. I think I might have gotten 12, but I don't know if it looks like there's 12 in here. So we'll have to see. I didn't get my full order. They said it's going to come in two different shipments. So this first shipment, it looks like we have maybe four of these. 
And I'll open one of these up and show you what it looks like after we unbox this. I'm really excited to see these. These are made specifically for Finding Unicorn characters, which is really cool. And what we have left is a bunch of single blind boxes. They also had a sale on certain series where you could pick it up for, I think it was a third of the regular price. I think it was more than 50% off. It was actually really cheap. They called them mini lucky bags, but you only got one blind box and you could actually pick out which one it was. So it wasn't really a lucky bag, but if you're interested to see if they still have them available, that's what they were called. And I got a whole bunch of different ones. So this one is the first one. I ended up getting Repolar. And I really liked this series and I thought for the discounted price, it would be fun to have more of these. I'm trying to get a particular one really badly. So this will be really fun to have. And I have unboxed a full series of Dreaming Land, but I'm always on the lookout for secret editions and I love the secret editions from this series. So I did go ahead and pick this up even though I already have the full series, but I thought it would be fun at the discounted price to try and see. And this one is actually really heavy. Yeah, I think this is one that is pretty big. I also have a damaged figure from this series. So if I got the same figure for that, that wasn't damaged, that would be amazing. And I'm also a really big fan of this series from Molinta or Zuton. And this is Dreamy Stage. I already have a few of these already, but I thought it'd be fun to pick up a blind box again just because of the discounted price and most of the ones that I have, I picked up knowing what figure I got. So this will be fun to see. And then the last one in here that I think was part of this sale is this beautiful one from Molinta. And again, Zuton. I know these used to be called Molinta before, but I think they're staying away from calling them Molinta now. But this is the Ancient Travel series and I'm going to be doing a whole ancient Chinese fashion treasure trove video in the future. So I had to pick this up for that video. I think it'll go so well. And then the last box we have inside of here wasn't part of the deal so I did pay full price for this. This is the brand new Melinda series and I'm really hoping to get a secret edition but I love this one. This is actually only my second box I've ever bought for these Melinta series where, you know, instead of being maybe like a more cartoonish Melinta, they look more like a real life lady. But this is the Melinta Spring List series and it's really cute. I really love this one. It's the first series of this type of Melinta and it's actually my favorite, so I'm really excited. So here's a look at everything that I picked up from Finding Unicorn for Valentine's Day. This isn't the whole order. A few more items that haven't been shipped yet, but hopefully they do soon. I did get the brand new Shinwu Baby Ghost Bear Light, and I think that's one of the only items that I haven't received. Let's go ahead and open up one of these blind boxes, though. I'm so curious to see what they look like. And these were, I think, around $2 in American currency. For the Finding Unicorn website, you do have to buy an American currency. So I'm not sure what they are in Canadian. I think most of the people who watch my channel are American anyways. But this is what it looks like. It's actually a really big box. I'm surprised at how big this is. I thought it opened up from the top, but it actually opens up from the front. I love that. That's so easy having like a little hatch door like that. And you'll notice that there's a little spot here. This is actually where you could slide a card. So you can have the figure with the card on the bottom. This is really awesome. It's really big. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was. But I love how it's branded with Finding Unicorn at the top. I think these individual boxes are a really smart idea. Let's go ahead and open up these Finding Unicorn All-Star Series ones now. And then we can go ahead and put them in the display and test it out. So I don't think it's any surprise who I got in here, considering there's only two characters for every single collaborator with Finding Unicorn. So last time I got an Amy one, and this time I got 
The Finding Unicorn Shin Wu one. Look at this. It is so pretty. Just absolutely stunning. And it's flock. Wow. I'm so glad I picked this up. It is honestly so beautiful. Here's a look at it a bit closer up. I absolutely love it. I think it is stunning. Wow. It is just so beautiful. Even the heart on the front is flocked. Oh, I wish Shidmu did more flocking. Lately, they've been going away from the flock. Oh, this bunny ghost is so cute. Honestly, I feel like I need another one of these because it is just so beautiful. Probably really hard to pick up. I know this was people's favorites from the series. Oh, I love the card for this with the blue to match the figure. So cute. And I think for this other box, because it almost looks like it hasn't been opened before, we just have the tape down here. I'm going to make a special video with this one. So if you're interested in that figure, be sure to check out my Instagram. I'll do a little short video there. But let's go ahead and test out this stand. I think this is going to be really big for Shin Wu, but we'll try it out. So we can slip the card like this in the back and there is a hole so you can adjust it how you'd like you just kind of have to move it around here to get it how you'd like it and it stays pretty well that's really nice and then of course you just pop in your figure kind of hard to show from the position i'm at again i'll be sure to take photos of this i'll put one up on the screen right now and the next thing we'll have a look at is what I picked up from Token. Token Emporium is from Vancouver. For Valentine's Day, they did a giveaway. It wasn't for Valentine's Day. It was for Lunar New Year. And I ended up winning one of the prizes. A ton of people won. I think I got the third prize with eight other people. So this was what the third prize was. And I think I just got this as a freebie or this might have been part of the giveaway. But this is a Crybaby Parade pin, it looks like. It doesn't show the characters on the side, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be a pin. Or it might be some other accessory from Crying Parade, I'm not sure. And of course, I got the little token card. And on the other side, it has a coupon for 5% off. This is the big price was the Lemon Bee Bag from Bobo and Coco from Pop Mart. So let's have a look at this. I did see it on the live stream. I did watch the live stream where the winners were getting announced. I totally missed them saying my name, but I saw the other ones. It was really fun. I think the number one prize was the bacon pillow from Finding Unicorn. I wish I had gotten the bacon pillow. It looked so silly, but I definitely loved this Bobo and Coco bag as well. I'm not sure if I'll keep this myself or maybe put it in a giveaway, but it's just this really cute jelly style bag with a yellow strap so it can be a shoulder bag. Really fun and super cute. I love the ears. <laughs> And as part of the giveaway, they did give us an exclusive 10% off coupon to anyone who ended up winning. And I did make a purchase because they got some new displays from Amastory Toys. So I went ahead and I picked up these two cases, which I'll probably put in a future video. I think this video is going to be pretty long, so I don't think I'll have time to set this up and show you. But I will have another video in the future with these. And I did pick up a third style. So those last two were the same style. And this is a third style from Amma Story. I keep on saying Amma Story, but there's no R. So Amma's Toy. I think that's how you'd say it. I'm so rubbish with names. So let's open it up and have a look. And I'm hoping to use this in future videos for when I open up a full case. That's the reason why I picked up this one. So hopefully it's good for that, but we'll have a look and see.
All right, so we have it out of the box and it's pretty similarly wrapped like the other one in bubble wrap. This one is already assembled, so I'm not gonna have to assemble this. And this one came with lights or without lights. And I believe I got it without any lights. So let's have a look and see. It is very well wrapped and I think I did see that it might already be broken. It looks like it is going down, but maybe that's part of assembling it. So here's a look at it with all of the plastic taken off. This part is broken. I think it's pretty easy. It just needs a bit of glue to attach it, but I will let the store know that it did arrive broken. And this is the way you're supposed to display it. So we have the door here that just magnets onto the front. It's actually really satisfying. The magnets seem a really good quality. So what you do is you'd lift up this door and put your 12 figures on the inside. And then you'd close up the door and you would just display it like that. I was kind of hoping that on the back side there would be a hole where you could hang it on a wall, like a little hole here to hang it on the wall, but it looks like something you'd have to put on a desk. But it's really cute, so you can notice that there's this pretty deep channel going all around, and if you got the one with lights, that's where you would put the lights. I didn't bother buying the one with the lights because I can definitely attach my own lights Maybe I'll even do posts on Instagram where I put like my 12 favorites for the month or something like that. But from Ami Ami, I picked up the newest Hunter X Hunter book, number 37. It is in Japanese, so me and my partner can't actually read it, but it always takes them years to release. So I thought my partner would really enjoy at least being able to have a look through the book. And then the second thing is from Valkyrie Profile. And these are old PlayStation games. A new one just came out and me and my partner have been playing it non-stop all January together. But this is an old bonus figure you got when you got like the box set of the original game. So I bought this for him as a graduation present and it was so cool that we found this on Ami Ami's pre-owned section. And it was actually really affordable. I think it was only like 20-ish dollars. I also picked up from the store Mind's Eye in Toronto the Pucky and Sanrio characters collab with Pop Mart. I was so excited to see that they ended up restocking this. I know Pop Mart stores don't sell this in North America, but they had a pre-order up and I ended up getting my order right away. I was so excited and I do have this coming up next week on the channel. And thanks so much for watching today's monthly vlog and haul. I hope you have a really great day and I will see you on my next video, which is coming up tomorrow.